What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody out there is having a fantastic day. Today we're going to talk about a subject that gets brought up a lot in the Mopar community and perhaps you're looking at new cars right now and you're having trouble deciding on which engine platform you should go with. This video is going to be right up your alley. The topic today is why does it seem so many people buy the 5.7 liter Hemi over the 6.4 liter Hemi. We're going to break it down. We're going to have us a little Mopar chat. So with that said, grab you a cold one, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's get into the video. I just want to give a big thanks to all the subscribers out there. The channel is growing tremendously. We are over 17,000 subscribers and growing. It's truly amazing the community that we have on this channel. So again, thank you all. Let's get into the video. So the number one reason why so many people buy the 5.7 over the 6.4, well, it's pretty simple. And it comes down to money, budget, and most of all, just money. There's no denying that the 5.7 liter platform is going to be much cheaper than any 6.4 liter platform out there on the market today. Whether it's in a truck or a car, it just doesn't matter. That 6.4 liter Hemi is going to cost you. When you start breaking it down and looking at the price difference between a 5.7 liter platform versus a 6.4 liter platform. First thing you're gonna notice is the sticker price for that 6.4 liter is usually gonna be about 10 to 15K over that 5.7 liter platform. And there's absolutely no denying that. Now yeah, every now and then you come across a pretty good deal, but it boils down to you're gonna pay a little over a 10 stack just for that 6.4 liter over the 5.7. Other costs you have to consider is payments. Say this is a car that you're gonna finance. Well, you may not think on paper, you know, that's a big difference when you're considering financing this vehicle. When you're talking about a 10 to $15,000 difference, that can equate to say about 100 to $200 extra a month over that 5.7 liter package. And for many, that's a bust. It may just not be in the budget. So let's say your 5.7 liter charger or challenger that you're looking at, you may be able to get into it for say four or $500 a month, but the 6.4 liter option, say a scat pack, you're gonna be talking 100 to $200 more a month. You may be in the, you may be up to say the five to $600 range monthly just to own that 6.4 liter package. So that's something you gotta consider, is that worth it to you? The other thing to look at also is insurance. There's a huge difference between owning the 5.7 liter platform over the 6.4 liter platform. When you start talking trims like Scat Pack, SRT, and things of that nature, well, that's where the insurance companies start hiking up everything because they look at those cars as vehicles that's most likely gonna cause a claim. And that's just the nature of it. So that's number one reason why so many people go with the 5.7 platform over the 6.4. Reason number two is, well, let's face it, it's a tried and true platform. The 5.7 liter Hemi came out a long time ago. It was used in the Ram truck line and has evolved ever since, going into pretty much every single vehicle that Dodge or Chrysler Ram has produced till today. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the 6.4 liter Hemi is not reliable. Between the two engines, they're pretty much the same except for a few features. But the 5.7 liter Hemi came first and that's what everything today has been built around. Now we're going to dig into a little bit of the performance side which is what I'm sure most of you guys are really considering if this is a new vehicle you're looking at that you're trying to purchase and you're having trouble deciding between the 5.7 liter Hemi or the 6.4. Well, there's no denying the 5.7 liter Hemi is the powerhouse that the 6.4 is. And those, just like myself, that owns a 5.7 liter Hemi has probably seen the tail lights once or twice 
of a 6.4 liter Hemi vehicle. And yes, that can be irritating sometimes. But don't give up on the 5.7 liter Hemi just yet. The 5.7 liter Hemi has tremendous potential to really make some serious power and be able to compete or even surpass a 6.4 liter Hemi. One thing the 5.7 liter Hemi is great for is it responds to modifications very, very well. Things like full exhaust with long tubes, aftermarket intake manifolds, camshaft upgrades, ported cylinder heads, custom tuning, and let's not leave out superchargers or nitrous. The 5.7 liter Hemi can definitely be a powerhouse and definitely be a reliable platform for your build. Now many will argue the fact that one may spend more money building up a 5.7 over just going right out of the gate and buying that 6.4 liter Hemi. And there's no denying that there will be money spent on a 5.7 to get to the power level and or surpass the level of a 6.4 liter platform out of the box. But let's not forget that sticker price difference. So the 5.7 liter, you're probably gonna end up spending about 10K less than buying that 6.4. So if you look at it in the long run, you're saving 10K out of the gate, whereas you could invest 10K into that 5.7 and over time build up to the power level of a 6.4 liter Hemi and or even surpass it. And I know you 6.4 liter Hemi guys are gonna blow up the comment section and say, well, if I put 10K in my 6.4, then that little 5.7 was never gonna have the chance. But there's always more than one way to skin the cat, and we're gonna talk about a few of those. Most individuals is looking at this vehicle as a bone stock. They're gonna buy the vehicle, they're gonna drive the vehicle, and they may install a few modifications on it during the lifetime of their loan as they're paying this vehicle off. The other reasons a lot of people consider the 5.7 liter Hemi over the 6.4 liter Hemi, well, the 5.7 liter Hemi can actually take a little more abuse than the 6.4 liter Hemi can. And what I mean by that is if you take both platforms, bone stock, generally speaking, a 5.7 liter Hemi can have a forced air setup like a supercharger and usually run up to about eight pounds of boost relatively safe. And some people has actually passed that point a little bit more like myself. I've actually been running about 10 to 11 PSI on my stock block 5.7 with 140 K on it right now. And then if you look at the nitrous side of things, usually a 5.7 liter Hemi can run 100 to 150 shot of nitrous very, very safe with a custom tune. And some people has even ran up to 200 shot on a stock block 5.7 liter Hemi with good tuning and fuel and has made the engine live a very, very long time. Now, when we look at the 6.4 liter Hemi, this is where things start to get a little sketchy. The 6.4 liter Hemi is a true powerhouse. It makes a lot of horsepower out of the gate. However, due to the piston design and the compression ratio on it, and it does not take well to having a forced air setup on it like a supercharger or a nitrous system. Now, I'm not saying you can't run a supercharger or nitrous setup on your stock 6.4 Hemi. You most certainly can, but you have to be very, very safe and conservative with it. Whereas with a 5.7, not so much. Now, when we start talking some average numbers on a 6.4 Hemi, for a forced air setup, generally speaking, most people will not go past about six pounds of boost on them because the pistons are just so fragile and they will not tolerate much abuse. And then when you start talking about a nitrous system, generally speaking, majority of people I run into with a stock block 6.4, most of them's running about a hundred shot max. There is a handful of people out there that's pushing the limits a little bit running bigger shots, but generally a hundred shot is about the safe zone for a 6.4 liter Hemi. So this is where things start to get even more interesting. When you start talking about you wanna make even more power than say eight pounds of boost or six pounds of boost, give or take which platform you're considering, that's when you start needing 
forged internals like pistons and connecting rods. Now, the good thing with a 5.7 is you can always stroke it to a 392. So if you're gonna upgrade to forged internals, you can always have a 392 later and or even a bigger engine like say a 397. Now, when you're talking a 6.4 platform, if you're wanting to run more than say six pounds of boost, you're pretty much right out of the gate gonna have to invest a ton of money in upgrading the internals. So that's where I kind of lean towards the 5.7. So that's where I say having the 5.7 liter Hemi is really not a bad thing to start out with out of the gate as if you really want to start building that engine up and you end up going to forged internals or something like that in the future, you can always stroke it to a 392 or even larger like a 397. There's definitely no denying that the 5.7 liter platform is a great engine and a great setup to mod and build on over time and get it to where you want it to be. With the right modifications and effort, you can definitely build a 5.7 to hang with those big boy 6.4s out there and definitely give them a run for their money. Lord knows I have in my truck Frostbite. My 2011 Ram RT still has a stock block 5.7 with a camshaft, long tubes, exhaust, a torque storm supercharger, some other modifications, and we are almost running 10 second quarter miles right now. I want to hear from you guys. Why did you buy the 5.7 liter Hemi? So if you have a 5.7 liter Hemi powered vehicle, comment down below what made you choose the 5.7 liter Hemi over other engine platforms. And for the 6.4 liter Hemi guys out there, I wanna hear what you have to say. Comment down below what made you pick the 6.4 liter Hemi, or perhaps you've had both. Which one did you like better? Which one was more reliable for you? Which one would you consider buying again? So as always guys, stay safe out there. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.